I got this feeling inside my brains It goes electric wavy when I make them A's All through fourth grade, all through my school We're flying up no ceiling when we're in our zone I've got that sunshine in my pocket Looking forward to a good day I feel I can do everything when I try I can't stop myself from learning Moving up academically Unlock the way we rock it, so don't stop. Hello, students. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, we're going to be learning about multiplying two digit times two digit using the distributive properties. Okay, so this is one of the properties that's very important, and you're going to be learning about it. Let's get started, shall we? All right, so we can use the distributive property to find the products in problems like 35 times 24. Okay, these are our factors, but we want to know our products. Okay. So here we have 35, which is a lot to count. And then on the side, we have 24. All right, so that's what that looks like. 35 times 24. One way is to break apart the second factor, okay? So 24 is the second factor. Take it away and we break it into expanded form or to its values, which is 20 plus 4, okay? So there we go, 20 plus 4. Now, everybody see that? We have 20 up here. 1, 2, 3, 4 down there. Okay. All right, so now all we gotta do is just multiply 35 times 20, like that. And 35 times 20, power of 10 is 700, okay? Next, we just multiply 35 times four, just like that. And our answer is 140, okay? We take the numbers, 70, 700, sorry, 700, okay, and 140, and we just add them. And our answer is 840, okay? So that's what the, distrib the distributive property looks like. Let's go ahead and do it another one. Okay, or I'm sorry, another way we can do this is break the first one apart. Okay, so we have 35 and we just break the first factor apart, which is 35. And we break it to its expanded form or to its values. Okay, using the commutative property to switch the order. Remember, commutative property means that it doesn't matter how the order goes, Multiplication is the multiplication. It works. Okay, so we get 30 plus 5. We take that away, and then we add in 30 plus 5. Okay, and here we have 30, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. Now we just multiply 24 times 30, just like that. And our answer is 720. And we also multiply 24 times 5, just like that, and our answer is 120, okay? Now we take 720 and 120, and we add them both, and our answer is still 840, okay? Um, the, the sophisticated way is we break both factors apart, okay? Okay, so we take 24, we break it apart, and it's 20 plus 4 into its values. We take 35, and we break that apart, and it's 30 plus 5, and we just take them apart. Okay, 20 plus 4. <gasps> what does this look like? Interesting, it looks like the area model. Good, alright, so let's see. So we just multiply 20 times 30, just like that. And our answer is 600. Power of 10, thank you. 
Next, we multiply 20 times 5, just like that, and we multiply that 20 times 5, which equals 100. Next, we multiply 4 times 30, just like that, and our answer is 120. And then we multiply 4 times 5, which equals 20. Now guess what you do? Exactly, you add up everything. So 20 plus 120 plus 100 and then plus 600. And let's see what our answer is. 840. This is just like the area model. Okay, area model. Excellent, so let's do that again. So we're gonna use the distributive properties, okay? We have 18 here, 36 there. Count the rows, count the dots. Okay, we're gonna break away this. We're gonna do it. First way is break the second factor. So 36 turns into 30 plus six. Okay, we break that apart. Next, we just multiply 18 times 30, which equals 540. And then 18 times 6, which equals 108. Okay, then we add up 100, 540 plus 108, which equals 640. Okay, second way is we break up the first factor. And thank you to the commutative property, we just switch the orders. Excellent. Now 18 turns into 10 plus 6. Good. Now we just multiply 36 times 10, which equals 360. Then 36 times 8, which equals 288. Now we add up both answers, and our answer is 648. Still the same way. Now the sophisticated way is that we break both factors. 18 turns 10 plus 8, and 36 turns into 30 plus 6. Okay, and we just break them apart, and then we draw our lines. And it looks just like the area model, okay? Alright, 10 times 30 equals 300. 10 times 6 equals um, 60. <laughs> Sorry, I blanked out. 8 times 30, which equals 240, and then 8 times 6, which equals 48. Now we just add 48 plus 240 plus 60 plus 300. And our answer is 648. Good job. There we go. You're starting to get this, okay? I hope this helps. This looks just like the area model. I am so proud of you. Thank you for staying and learning and growing your brain. I'll see you next time. Bye.